Hello everyone. Um, this is going to be a really quick video. This wasn't the video I actually planned to put out next, uh, which is actually the ECW Bard Regiment um, video, which I'm still working on and just putting the finishing touches and editing. However, I just received in the post something which I'd ordered for my Crusades project and I opened it up and it was very cool and I thought I've, I've just got to do a video on it. Um, so basically I have ordered some miniatures from Caballero Miniatures and uh, Caballero Miniatures is, they're, well, they're 3D prints and um, you can see them if you want to have a look at them on my mini factory and um, I'll leave links in the description down below. And in the UK you can get these printed by uh, Grey Green Customs and I ordered these just to see what they were like. I really like the look of the sculpts and uh, I, I've had a look at them and I'm, I'm blown away. So I just thought I would, uh, I would share share these with you and uh, show you a bit of a comparison to the Normans I'm working on at the moment and uh, and then I'd actually I think there's just a couple of bits to assemble so I thought I'd assemble them and then uh, see what you think so I ordered five of these miniatures from Grey Green Customs who have got a license to print and produce these in the UK and um, these are from their early medieval Spanish range, but they are very close and pretty much will do as Normans. So they will do for my early Crusaders. And of course, in this period, you have the Reconquista in, um, in Spain, um, where they're fighting the Moors and each other again, just as much as everyone else. So I wanted to do a command base. And I've actually been looking for a Norman character and uh, I thought these rather fitted the bill. So what I'm gonna do, I'll just move the camera in, show you the ones I've got, and uh, we'll go from there. Right, so here we are. Now these five models are gonna form one command base, and basically what sold it for me was this chap. Now, I saw the sculpt for this, and I thought that that was absolutely fantastic, right down to the strap that's hanging from the helmet and actually having a bearded Norman um, I thought was quite cool because of most of the models I see they've got them down as clean shaven but I wanted that ragged look for the Crusades I mean just look at the detail on that model now these have been printed in resin and it's a very durable resin and don't worry that hasn't snapped there that is actually where his shield will be hanging very 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 nice sculpt and I do love a pointing model. So he is going to be one of my commanders. He's not going to represent anyone in particular, but I, I guess for this, as I said, I'll probably be using him to represent Robert Curto's in the first um, brigade that I do. And just look at the detailing on that sword. So um, you can request that he prints these in whatever size you want. Um, I asked him to do them, which is what I think he does as standard to basically match the Vitrix models uh, at 28 mil or um, but obviously all models do vary slightly and that's not a problem because obviously not every human is the same height so I got him to be one of my commanders I've got this fellow here to be a standard bearer but I just like the fact that he didn't have um, the helmet on but he was still wearing the male uh, coif and also he's got that tunic so I can basically paint a crusader patchwork cross on there very very clean crisp sculpts which I'll talk about in a moment then there's this fella here who is a dead or very soon to be dead standard bearer so he'll be leaning on a standard which will run here so you can see there's a slot for it so I'm gonna stick a couple of arrows in him and then to complete the command base I've got these two and these are obviously kneeling Normans. So they will be kneeling and they will have oh, this fellow behind them pointing over the top of them. So I think I might end up doing this command base quite quickly. You get the shields with them. Um, I won't pick them all up, but the typical kite shield. Lovely detail on both sides. And this I didn't realise. You get um, the sword which um, I assume is going with the standard bearer. And then the thing I thought was great, look, you get the spearheads. Focus, there we go, you've got the spearheads. Cool is that? So I will be putting wire spears in here. Um, and then you've got the heads for them. So 
I, yeah, I am really, really pleased. Um, now these were £2.50 each printed, but the thing that I was pleased about with these is that he has de-supported them and pre-washed them as well. Now the only things I'm going to have to uh, to clip out are these um, these spearheads, but I didn't. I'm quite pleased because when I've bought resin printed miniatures before or 3D printed miniatures before and they come with supports on, I've accidentally I've clipped them and I've ended up snapping pieces off of them. I haven't got to worry about that here. The resin is decent. The shields are great. They're, the resin is a bit flexible, which is good, so it isn't really brittle. Um, and if there is any bend, you could just heat it up and move it back into shape. Um, Check out Caballero Miniatures on my mini factory. I, I believe that Graving Customs has the license to print anything that's on there. Um, and you, you'll you see that he's got all sorts of things. He's got more medieval Spanish, of course, there's El Cid. Um, there's Alfonso, I believe, and all sorts of other characters. But they do just as well for the Crusader period or any other um, of that early medieval Norman period if you're doing like the Normans in Italy or even if you're doing maybe 1066. He also has some amazing looking Berber models on there, some amazing camel cavalry, which I'm, I'm gonna have to gonna have to get. Um, and I believe he does some fantasy miniatures as well. Um, so what I'll do, I'm just gonna move these to one side and I'll grab one of the Vitrix Normans and we'll just put them side by side, do a bit of a scale comparison. Okay, so here is one of the Normans uh, that I've just stuck together from the Vitrix Norman set. This is one of the uh, one of the commanders who's uh, just wearing some scale armor. Obviously he has the integral base, but I'm taking those off anyway. So if we pop him side by side, you'll see that the scale there, let's just move him down a little bit so his foot is pretty good. This one stands slightly taller, but as I say, that's not a problem. That's easy solvable on the base. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with that. There we go, so you can see they scale very, very well. And the detail is just as good. I think these are going to go together brilliantly, so I could actually put some extra Normans on this base from that sprue. About the same kind of trunk. Obviously, this one's in a bit of a different pose, so this one's standing face on, but trunk of the body looks decent. Yeah. It's going to look really, really good together, I think. Um, so that'll be that command base. And uh, of course, the other thing to to check out will be the shield. So this is the Vitrix shield, and this is the Caballero shield. I tell you what, let's use one of the ones that's got nothing on it. And if we put the Vitrix one over the top, very very little in it, a touch longer. But basically, the reason that I'm looking at this is that means that those shield transfers from little big men should fit on there pretty much perfectly it's a little bit extra at the bottom could either trim that off or you could just paint that or, and put some weathering on it so that's great i mean you get quite a lot anyway in that set so it should mean that this shield here won't look out of place on him if i wanted to use that so there we have them scale. Now I don't have any other Norman miniatures at the moment. I've just got these um, these Vitrix ones. But as I get more miniatures from other ranges, I will compare them all together. I'm definitely going to be getting some more of these um, these uh, Caballero miniatures because um, I'm just blown away by them. Um, sorry if this sounds like a bit like a um, you know sort of loving for them, but I'm I'm really really pleased with them. Um, so what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to assemble the spears and the banners, and I'll just put all those together. And uh, we'll see how easy they, those go. Look at the spearheads on them and then just wrap this up. So here we are. I've stuck the spearheads on and I've added the wire spears. Didn't take very long at all. The spearheads came away from the supports really, really easily. I just used a very sharp scalpel, a new scalpel blade to do it. Um, and something that was awesome about them is they were actually pre-drilled um, in the end. So there was actually a slot to push the wire spear into, which was really helpful. So... Uh, there we go, and the hand perfectly spaced to um, fit that spear, so no issues there. I'll leave the shields off while I paint them. Um, now, if you um, if you hop over onto Leon's channel, uh, Leon T66, I'll leave a, a link down there. Weirdly, he's um, doing the same project kind of at the same time. We just that's nothing to do with uh, each other. We didn't. We just happened to decide on the same project. <laughs> 
um, and we're both going for it. And I think he's got some of these um, these guys as well. Um, and um, we've both been sending each other sort of ideas and information. It's great. So there's going to be somebody else working on the Crusades or, or that Norman period as well while I'm working on them. So we're bouncing ideas off of each other. He sent me some stuff over about um, um, some of the Berbers. I pointed out to him that you've got the, uh, what they call the NAFTA, the, the flame frozen grenades and uh, or siphons rather, flame siphons. Um, and it's going to be really fun to hopefully sort of build up these projects together at the same time. And potentially that means uh, can have a game if we can, uh, if can sort out meeting up. Um, I did see on his channel that he had this guy which he managed to pick up at the show and I've added him in here so I've added that arrow from the Perry Miniatures um, Wars of the Roses infantry set you get a lot of arrows in there and this one's just sort of standing on its own so I just clipped it off added it in I just went for the one arrow and then I think that's gonna look very cool when he's got the banner draped down over his body um, very pleased very very pleased so um, yeah Go check out Leon T66's channel. Uh, Leon's great. If you haven't checked his videos out already, why not? Go and have a look at him. He's got fantastic stuff on there. Napoleonics. He's got some fantasy stuff on there. He's got everything on there. Um, and he's also um, sort of writing some of his own rules as well. And you can see some battle reports of them as well. So go check those out. And um, go and check out Caballero Miniatures. You can have a look on my mini factory. If you Google them, it will come up. And you can see all the different stuff that they've got. Um, and I got these printed at Grey Green Customs Painting Service in the uh, uh, UK. Um, they're on Facebook. And I'll leave a link below. All I did was I messaged him with a picture of the ones that I wanted. And he came back to me within a few minutes with a quote. I accepted. PayPal. Done. On the way and I am really really pleased. I know as well that you can get these in 54mm through um, Carl at Mezzers Miniatures so if you're looking for something to, to paint up as a bit of a showpiece like this guy and I know Carl's got has got him imagine him at 54mm that would look ace I haven't tackled anything really at 54mm but maybe there's time I will be getting some more of these not just for characters um, I will be creating some units and mixing them in with my um, with my Normans uh, from Vitrix because now I know that they uh, they fit quite well. I say quite well, very well. Yeah, pleased, very very pleased. Anyway, I won't ramble on. Go and check them out, guys, and I will see you again in the next one. Stay safe. See you all again soon.